single tag. So what the player tracking that Zebra has developed does is each player has a chip in their shoulder pads, an RFID chip. We put two tags on the shoulders of every player and we track all those movements through receivers that are around the stadium 25 times a second. And it can track the position, the speed, the acceleration of every player all throughout the game. They're constantly measuring those data points to, to really understand for the first time at a granular level what an individual player does during an NFL game. The second the player puts on his pads, he's being tracked. He walked out that door on the field, he's just a blip on the screen. The NFL is collecting all of this data on the players running around, how fast they run, where they run, exactly what routes that they're running. It's about the information that we can now gather about an individual athlete, but really treating each athlete as specifically as possible. RFID chips are gonna have a huge impact on talent evaluation. One of the big things that the league and the players are going to need to figure out together is what happens with all this data. I mean, imagine I'm an NFL player and my team suddenly knows because they're tracking me at such a granular level that I'm not as strong as I used to be. And I'm not as fast as I used to be. And my contract's up this year. How does that negotiation go in the future? It's a real issue of concern for the players' unions. And I think you're actually going to see the players and the unions push back on some of this a little bit. Say a wide receiver is coming off an ankle sprain. You're going to know before the game and during the game at what speed he's going. It's going to inform your decision of how much he should be on the field. You know, smart teams don't really look in traditional measurables. They care about play speed. Now you have play speed. I think measurements like the 40-yard dash, the vertical, they're going to become even more obsolete because of this technology. Now coaches are going to have play speed in front of them, and that's all they really care about. You know, once you have the data, then you can run the experiment. Then you can hypothesize that if I focus linemen's training on explosive speed techniques, that I might be able to get some benefits in the run game because they get off the ball faster. But you can time your cornerback on a blitz, so you have to choose which defensive back you're sending out to the quarterback. Well, now you know exactly how long it takes him to get there. I think what happens in years to come where there's new technology, things that haven't been invented, is this bringing together of video, real-time player tracking, and um, virtual reality. For years we've said things as fans like, oh, that guy's slowing down, or man, he is fast. Now we can actually quantify those with real numbers. We can say, well, you know what? This receiver used to get out on the deep route at this speed. It opens up a whole new way of looking at the game.